Hi Stoughton, this is Steve Cavey, select board member from the town of Stoughton, also the vice chair. Uh, today is March 16th, 2021, and I want to give you guys a, a brief update on tonight's meeting. Before I begin, just a reminder, down in the description you can find some helpful links. There's a link to the full meeting at SMAC. Uh, you'll also find a, uh, a link to where you can find the agenda and the minutes when they become available. And last, there's a, uh, a link to an anonymous suggestion box if there's anything you want to share with me, but you want to keep your identity to yourself. Totally respect that. Just drop me a line there. If, you don't, uh, if you're not too concerned about keeping your identity private, you can also email me, call, uh, reach out any way you want. So uh, let's see, I'm, I'm going to go very much out of order here, but uh, uh, I'll start with, you know, we did the typical stuff. We had uh, citizens requests, select board comments, town manager comments. Definitely check those out if, if, uh, if, if there's anything that might be interesting to you. I'm going to jump way to the end here because there's kind of a big uh, bombshell that we heard about tonight that occurred with the last item on the open agenda which is the uh, additional announcements from the chair, which is uh, select person Howe. Uh, she has uh, announced that she is going to be resigning from the board. Uh, and I think that the date is her, it's March 26th. Maybe that's the last day that she'll, she'll be uh, available. Uh, so uh, she has taken the, uh, an opportunity, uh, been offered an opportunity out in uh, Idaho, and, uh, and she's going to be pursuing that. So... She has to to leave Massachusetts uh, to to just follow this um, a career um, opportunity for her. So everyone obviously wishes her the best, uh, and she's she's done a remarkable job for, for the community. Uh, it's been a great working with her, um, and uh, as I said during the meeting, uh, you know the, the the town she's moving to, Pocatello, uh, their gain is certainly our loss. Uh, but we will be able to continue on, uh, I, I'm, I'm certain. Uh, however, her, her contribution to, to this life board has been outstanding. So uh, working with her has been a, a, a huge pleasure, and she's going to be sorely missed. So now let's get back to the, the regular business, but that was certainly something I wanted to share early on. If you're only going to watch a couple seconds of this video, I think that was the thing that you probably would, would be find most valuable. So the uh, so there's big changes going on uh, besides the election that's coming up in a couple of weeks, uh, where uh, my seat's up and also the, the Bob O'Regan's seat is up. So he's he's not running for re-election. I am. Uh, we'll, we'll have to have a uh, an additional an election shortly after to uh, to replace um, uh, or I guess to fill uh, Christine House seat. So back to the agenda. Uh, we had, uh, at the beginning of our top of our meeting, we had a, a, what's labeled here as the introduction of Norfolk County Sheriff's Department. So Sheriff, Sheriff McDermott, who's, who's the, 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 um, the new uh, sheriff for Norfolk County, uh, came by, just introduced himself, uh, and provided some insights on the things that he's working on right now. Next up was uh, Mark Zemanian. Uh, He's a town meeting rep from Precinct One. I think he's also the precinct chair, or he has he has been for a while. Uh, additionally, he's a member of the, of the Redevelopment Authority. He's he's also done some really great work to uh, uh, to provide housing assistance during COVID nineteen um, with the with the CPC. Sorry, he's actually also a member of CPC. So with, with CPC uh, and with re redevelopment, he's he's been working to help with um, some housing assistance due to COVID-19, but he's he's branching out a little bit. Uh, he and one of the other members of, of that committee uh, are looking to uh, pursue uh, other other opportunities, other chances um, to, to help, uh, opportunities to help members of the community. The, um, so this is the Housing Advisory Subcommittee proposal for research viability of a housing trust. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, he spoke uh, at length about some of, of the ideas that he has and um, the viability of it generally. So uh, he was looking for the select board to just, um, you know, weigh into the extent that we 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 ought to. Um, and it, he received a universal endorsement um, for for it. And he's he's done really has done remarkable work in in uh, past projects that he's been working on. And uh, I wish him the best. Any way I can help, uh, he has my support. Next up, Mark Tisdale provided a couple of 
of quick um, uh, presentations. One is on the Safe Routes to School project, uh, which is down Central Street. Uh, there's there's work being done to clean up uh, sidewalks that, that uh, lead to um, the Wilkins Elementary School, going all the way down to um, to the park. I forget the name of the park. I apologize, but uh, going down quite a ways, um, and uh, we'll certainly hear probably be hearing more about that. Uh, additionally, he, he gave a presentation on the Park Street Sewer Project. Uh, there's some updates that he provided. Uh, they've been able to, uh, he, he and his team have been able to uh, win some, some grants that have been able to reduce the overall cost of the project. So uh, so there were some certainly some changes on, that we were able to, uh, to make to the overall project uh, costs. Next up, continued public hearing. This is a public safety facility planning and building committee presentation on design of a proposed fire station. Uh, we were we were working to get the fire station, um, uh, you know, the, the the funding for it, and also uh, the the uh, design location, all, all the stuff we need uh, done, so that we could bring it to a fall. Sorry, to the um, the annual town meeting. Uh, that does not, that's no longer feasible. Uh, most of that appears to be uh, due to uh, COVID-19 has you know, all of our delays. You know, it's unsurprising that, that that's caused uh, delays here. But if, yeah, they, they lost about three months um, of meeting time early on. And and so they are, um, by their own um, uh, reporting, uh, you know, about three months behind. So so they, 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 though they feel comfortable, they're going to be able to wrap this up uh, if they just follow the timeline they, they had scheduled, um, it's it's not going to be um, they're, they're not going to be able to get it get it done by the annual town meeting, and I think that was uh, reasonable. So we'll probably have to move that out to a special town meeting at some point in the uh, in the future. But uh, still keeping my eye on that project. It's an important one. It really is a very important project. So uh, we're going to have to make it happen one way or another. Let's see. Next up, town manager mid-year review. So this one, in this case, we that's due on April fifteenth. Uh, we were we have gone through um, uh, some discussions of just you know how we're going to lay it out and how we're looking to do it. Uh, Select person Roberts uh, and and O'Regan are going to be taking taking that away. They're going to they're going to develop a um, uh, uh, sort of some metrics off of of which we can we can actually create a a um, a review and they're they're, they're using uh something that the select person roberts had brought to us which i think is amherst has has a uh a method of of the reviewing their town manager that offers very objective uh criteria uh, makes it easy to measure and easy to um to sort of understand and and plan for so we, we uh we're going to start using that uh they're just going to sort of clean up clean it up so that it better fits our town, our, our circumstances, uh, what our goals were. And we'll have that for the next meeting, which is next Tuesday. Uh, there was a question of whether or not to open the, the warrant for a special town meeting. There were a couple of items that, that were that were uh, uh, going to be sort of injected into the current town meeting. Um, and I think most of them, many of them were, were related to zoning. Um, in order to get this done right, once again, I think we just need a little bit more time. So, so we we did not open up uh, a warrant for a special town meeting. Next, discuss uh, discuss update article uh, twenty six of the twenty seventeen annual town meeting. So, uh, fifteen thousand dollars, sorry, one hundred fifty thousand dollars, had been um, uh, set aside for the purpose of getting a, a, a paying a consultant. Uh, to help the town um, handle issues regarding the South Coast Rail. So uh, this has not been used. We have a sunsetting sun bylaw in our in our charter that that, uh, uh, that uh, sorry a sunsetting bylaw that requires that that if something's not used within a, a certain number of years, three years, uh, it, it it sunsets. It's no longer uh, it's it's that money is returned to the to the general fund. Uh, the select board is able to um, extend that 
by I think uh, I want to say one year or it could be it could be two years but each year you have to renew it um, regardless th this was our opportunity to extend it, it expired on uh, June 30th 2020 and we can extend it through uh, June 30th 2021 if, if we chose to and um, uh, without getting too much into the details we, we ultimately did uh, vote to to extend that um, it was a vote of four to one so the next item uh, actually as we already discussed this this was the additional announcements from the chair once again huge loss but but uh, uh, I wish uh, Miss Howell well she'll, she's she's going to be um, you know representing her hometown of Stoughton uh, well out there so she'll make us all proud the uh, the next item on here is consent agenda items uh, and the, all the typical stuff. We have payroll and bill warrants and any other documents that come before the meeting. Uh, approve invoice number seven in the amount of three hundred and sorry, thirty three thousand five hundred and forty three dollars for disbursement to be made from the CPA housing account under the COVID nineteen emergency housing fund program. Uh, we have approve open session minutes of. February 16th, February 23rd, March 1st, and March 2nd. And then also approve a lease agreement for Community Field uh, Stoyak Pop Warner. We voted to, um, to approve those unanimously. Then we had a couple of items that we discussed in executive session. A, discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining with the police supervisors union, pers union pursuant to General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A3. B, to discuss uh, strategy with respect to collective bargaining with the Professional Administrative Union, SPEA, Town Hall Associates, FEA, Union, uh, pursuant to General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A3. Item C, to discuss strategy with respect to negotiation with non-union personnel, pursuant to General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A2, Town Clerk. Uh, Item D, approve executive session minutes of uh, March 1st and March 2nd of 2021. And uh, and that is the entire meeting. I feel like I'm like drained here. <laughs> I'm sorry if, if I'm difficult to understand. I'm just like, feel like all of a sudden I'm just ready for bed. But uh, uh, maybe that's a reasonable. It's 11 o'clock at night. Be well, everyone. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously feel, feel free to reach out. Um, thank you again uh, for the opportunity to be a member of the select board and to volunteer for the town. Uh, it's been a great experience. I hope to, hope you'll have me back for, for at least another round. Uh, I certainly want to do this as long as, as you will let me. Uh, be well. Have a good night. Stay safe and stay healthy. Take care.